Have you ever heard of rubber ducky? But no, it's not a duck from your bath. It is a powerful tool in the world of cyber security. If you remember the series Mr. Robot, then it was this flash drive that was used by the main character to hack into systems. Imagine the situation you insert an ordinary, at first glance, USB flash drive into your computer, and within a few seconds it automatically performs a number of actions, from opening documents to installing programs. Sounds like science fiction. In fact, this is a reality. And such a device is called rubber ducky. Rubber ducky. This is a device that looks like a regular USB flash drive, works like a flash drive. But in fact, it is far from a flash drive in the hands of a professional. It can become a powerful cybersecurity tool allowing you to quickly and efficiently inject malware or collect data. And while many of you may be hearing about Rubber Ducky, for the first time, this device has long been known in the cybersecurity community. The name Rubber Ducky is a commercial brand created by Hawk5. They were among the first to popularize the concept of the Bad USB, a device that looks harmless but can cause serious damage. It would seem like such a small thing can destroy all the data on your PC. It's something incredible. In this video, we will create our own version of Rubber Ducky, inspired by scenes from Mr. Robot. Get ready to learn how to turn an ordinary USB flash drive into a powerful cybersecurity tool. But before we dive into the world of building such a device, I want to emphasize one thing. The information I'm about to share is for educational purposes only. Using the rubber ducky for illegal activities is not only unacceptable, but can lead to serious legal consequences. Many of you may be thinking that making a rubber ducky is a complex and mobile process. But what if I told you that you can create your own rubber ducky for just a few dollars, and all you need is a Digispark board, powered by an Atni 85 microcontroller. ATTINY85 is a small but powerful microcontroller from Atmo. It has 8 kilobytes of internal memory, which is more than enough for most tasks, due to its compact size and low cost. It is ideal for making our rubber ducky. Before we start, we need to prepare our working environment. To do this, we will use the Arduino IDE, a free software that allows you to easily program microcontrollers. If you are on Windows, then you will need to install drivers. You will find the link by solving this integral. Just kidding, it will be in the description. Download, unzip the archive, and install the drivers. For Linux, you will need to install the Libus library. I will also leave some useful resources in the description. We connect Digispark and go to the Device Manager. The Libus Win 30 to Drivers device should appear here if the device is grayed out. Then select and update the drivers for the device with the ones we just installed. If your Digispark is not displayed in the device manager, then you should not panic and think that it does not work. Everything is really simple. Apparently, you plug Digispark into a USB 3.0 port, and Digispark only works through USB 2.0. The solution to this problem is simple. Either use a USB 2.0 to USB 3.0 adapter, or solder USB 3.0 to Digispark. There is nothing complicated here. We take any USB 3.0 port, for example from the old wire for the phone and solder directly to Digispark. Thus, everything will work perfectly. This is a little-known life hack that few people know about. 
but it is fully functional if everything is good and soldered correctly. Go to Arduino IDE and in the settings window. We have to find the field additional board URL manager and paste inside the following URL. You can find it in the description. After clicking OK, we go to the tools menu and once there we will go to the board's option. Where a new pop-up menu will open from which we will select the board manager option. We now use the search engine to find the Digist and Pay VR boards library and click the install button to download and install the drivers for our board. If we now return to the tools board menu and go down to the pop-up menu, we can see that the Digist and Pay VR boards are already available. To flash our Digispark, we must select Digispark default is 16.5 megahertz. Now let's get to the fun part. Writing the code for our rubber ducky on the Atony 85. If you are new to programming, don't worry. I will try to explain each line. In this code, we use the Diggy keyboard library, which allows our Atony 85 to emulate a keyboard in the setup function. We set an initial delay to give the computer time to recognize our device. In the loop function, we send the win plus our key combination to open the run prompt, then type notepad and press enter. After that we enter the text hello world in the open notepad. Now let's upload this code to our microcontroller. But before that, take into account the peculiarity of Digispark. Connect the device to USB only after the Arduino. It starts the boot process. And now our code has been successfully uploaded to Atony85 now. When you connect this microcontroller to any computer, it will automatically open Notepad and print Hello World. Let's try again. If something is not working for you, and Digispark writes strange characters, this is due to your keyboard layout. By default, the board uses the American keyboard layout. For me personally, it works on the Spanish layout. Here is the second example, much more interesting. Here we open a link in a browser that simulates hacking a computer. We also do this through the built-in Windows function. Open it with the Win plus R key and paste the link after pressing Enter. Wait two seconds for our site to open and press the F11 key to open the window in full scale mode. If you want more interesting codes for this board, they are already available on Patreon separately in the store or through an advanced subscription. Now you have your very own rubber ducky, but remember, with great power comes great responsibility. Rubber ducky, as you already understood, is not just a toy. It is a powerful tool that can be used in various fields. But let's consider its application for educational and research purposes. First, Rubber Ducky can be a great tool for teaching students the basics of cybersecurity. It can be used to demonstrate various attacks and defense methods, showing students real threats and how to prevent them. Secondly, for cybersecurity researchers, Rubber Ducky can become a tool for testing and analyzing various systems. It can be used to conduct penetration tests, investigate vulnerabilities, and develop new protection methods. Thank you for being with me throughout this lesson. 
I hope that the information was useful and you can apply the knowledge gained in your practice. If you like the content of our channel, don't forget to subscribe and leave a like for additional support. You can become our patron on Patreon or use a paid subscription directly on YouTube. There is a story hidden in every bit of information. Be the one who reads it, not the one who skips it. Thank you for your attention.